Andy Burkowski here for VGS, continuing my analysis of The Last of Us Part 2. Today I'm trying to answer a pretty fundamental question about the ending of the game. I've received dozens of comments and theories on the relationship between the Rattlers, a slave trading gang led by Fat Geralt, and the Fireflies, one of the most formative factions in this entire game series. Many of you have suggested that the Fireflies are in fact destroyed by the end of the game, and when Abby does make contact with the group over shortwave radio in Santa Barbara, it's actually a trick by the Rattlers to entrap more slaves for their slave pens. These two lines in particular from different characters at different times have been brought up again and again as proof for this theory. Hi, Abby. We got a clear signal on you. Where in Santa Barbara are you calling from? Um. 24, 25 Constants. Uh, we got a tip about a base, but there's no one here. We're looking for fireflies. How do we find you? Get to Catalina Island. Approach the large domed building in Avalon. We'll find you. Okay. Okay, we'll see you soon. Over and out. Looking forward to it. Good luck, Abby from Santa Barbara. She's in a holding cell at our camp. <laughs> Where is that? Head that way till you hit the railroad track. That'll lead you to a resort. We keep them in the tall, round building. I do understand why it seems compelling. Abby here mentions her location. There's hesitation from the voice on the radio when she does. They're then told to go to a large dome building in Avalon. When Ellie confronts Fat Geralt, he says their base is in a resort that's also a tall, round building, which Ellie eventually discovers. You can see it here as she's clearly searching for Abby. Adding to the fact that the Rattlers had a trap set ready for Abby right after that call, I can really understand why some of you would think it's all an elaborate trick. Here is why I disagree. The call itself from the beginning of it until Abby and Lev get jumped by Rattlers outside is less than two minutes. Even if the guy on the other end of the radio did call his Rattler crew to grab them, there's no way they could get there in that time. Also, why keep access to this radio hidden? If they really did want to lure people to call in, why not keep the door open and make it an open trap? I think it's much more plausible that the noise that Abby and Lev made taking out Infected previously and then noisily opening that garage door would alert Rattlers that are in the area, which we know are there from Ellie's trip in Santa Barbara where they're monitoring for strays. Now, by no means is this definitive, so let's take a look at the dialogue. The Fireflies claim to have a base at the Round Building at Avalon. Some cursory Googling led me to this building, the real-life Catalina Casino, as shown here. It's located off the coast of Catalina Island. The large resort building mentioned by Fat Geralt is a building that Ellie infiltrates in the game. She sees it here and then ends up inside. We are in Santa Barbara. We're not on Catalina Island. There's no possible way that Ellie somehow ended up on this island without us knowing about it. Furthermore, if you consider the end of the game, after Ellie decides not to kill Abby, she and Lev put her off in a boat into the darkness. They're heading to Catalina Island, where they supposed fireflies are. Abby and Lev have survived this long. Why wouldn't they go back inland where their boats, guns, food, everything they need to survive, unless they believed the fireflies were still out there? Once you do beat the game, I think this theory is cemented, the main menu screen changes. You see now what it looks like. The Catalina Casino in Avalon 
off the coast of Catalina Island, suggesting that Abby and Lev did in fact get there where the fireflies may be. Even comparing the two buildings, the one Ellie sees that was identified by Fat Geralt proves, I think, pretty definitively that these two buildings are very different and therefore the Rattlers were not the Fireflies on the radio. I will admit the similarities between the two descriptions are stupid similar. I think it might have been a remnant of a former story idea. Creative director Neil Druckmann has mentioned in recent interviews that the Santa Barbara storyline was severely cut with much more planned content that we were supposed to play. Either way, I'm very confident that this is not the case of a secret plot by slavers and instead just the byproduct of some poor narrative design. But I, I'm hoping now that if you live in this area in real life, if you're familiar with Catalina Island and know of these two locations, speak up in the comments because I really would like to pin down this particular theory because the ramifications of it are, are pretty huge. If the Fireflies are dead, this becomes an even more nihilistic and upsetting ending for Abby and Lev. So if you're familiar with these locations, do speak up. Again, my only familiarity with Catalina Island is from movies like this. The Prestige one won! Prestige one won! Fucking Catalina one. It's the fucking Catalina one mixer. It's the fucking Catalina one mixer.